It doesn't take an artist's eye to look out over the Badlands and see wonderful thunderheads, listen to the thunder, and see the lightning truly here in North Dakota. We are blessed. <clears throat> I feel honored and fortunate to be asked to introduce this posthumous award to Louis Dearborn Lamore. I've always felt connected to him by the fact that this, the most celebrated author of the Western genre, grew up in Jamestown, North Dakota, 40 miles from my hometown of Marion. I have personally been encouraged by the fact that a great cowboy author like Lamore, a cowboy champion like Dwayne Howard, and perhaps even there's room for a cowboy artist coming from not only the West River country of North Dakota, but also from the East Coast of North Dakota. We have all heard the amazing facts of Louis L'Amour's productive career. Over 100 books written, 200 million copies printed, translated in more than 20 languages. He received the North Dakota Rough Rider Award, a Presidential Medal of Freedom, a Congressional Gold Medal, an Honorary Doctorate, and now this honor by the members of the North Dakota Cowboy Hall of Fame. A question many of us have had through the years about his work is what exactly endeared him to his readers besides his ability to entertain? That is the question I put to acquaintances in rodeo, in towns, in the country, and even at the university level. The comment I heard most often was that Louis L'Amour wrote with conviction. When you read his work, you were convinced of the rightness of the places, the people, and the events in his stories. His style was straightforward, honest, and it gave his readers a chance to forget about low cattle prices, long winters, crowded freeways, monthly payments, and foremost, his work was a place to escape the unfair events of our everyday life. His characters lived in a world that was uncomplicated, a world where good triumphed over evil, where goodness and hard work does reward its practitioners. This is a world we all want to believe in, and Louis L'Amour convinced us of that through inspired research into places, events, people, and real history. While his formal education was limited, he put his life experiences as a laborer, a seaman, a miner, a soldier, a professional boxer, and world traveler together with exhaustive research in such a way to make his readers believe in that elusive admonition we have all been brought up to believe in. Do the right thing, and it will all work out for the best. Good wins out over evil. Strength of character and discipline will reward perseverance. A young student from India, and I'm talking East India, who currently graduated from NDSU, North Dakota State University, wanted to come to North Dakota to study because he knew it was Louis L'Amour's birthplace. What this young man from India thought was important about America was what he read in Louis L'Amour's books. He wanted to be a part of that place, a place we too want to believe in. The lessons of his writing, even though cloaked in another time and many landscapes, are lessons we, our state, our country, this world, would do well to embrace. Life in general and the coming 21st century will be better if things played out in Louis L'Amour's ideal. Those that subscribe to his ideals have faith in the future, a faith played out in our North Dakota past. The family of Louis Dearborn L'Amour has asked that another North Dakotan who also believes in hard work, discipline, and dedication accept this award in his place, Mr. Harold Schaefer. If all you wonderful people are wondering why I needed a little help to get up there, remember this. I lived in Kilder many years before they had a rodeo. Thank everybody from Kathy Lamore, Louis's wife, from Angelique, his daughter, 
from Bo, his son. I want to say just a couple words and then we'll be through with the ceremonies today. And that is that there must have been in Louis L'Amour's ancestry because he personally traced his own history on this continent back to 1600. A little something that probably has never been written, nobody ever thought about, but I thought about it when I was asked to accept this award for the family. And I know if they were here, or any of them here, incidentally, Kathy's out of the country, they would say thank you to every single person that had anything to do with this. But think about L'Amour, L apostrophe capital A-M-O-U-R. He's Irish and French ancestry. And the French must have controlled because amour means love in French. And he named his children Angelique, and the first letters are angel. He named his son Beau, and that means love and affection from a great man. In my office, I've had a wall hanging for years and years and years and it shows a small boy kneeling in the grave with an older man with his hand on his shoulder and he said don't ever cry for a man they come around too seldom Louis Lemoor was a man of North Dakota and for him, and for his family, I say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. To Mr. Harold Schaefer, we again extend our heartfelt thanks for him being here and representing the late Louis Moore.